But uh, the final ascendant is going to be Pisces ascendant. Uh, now Saturn is the 11th Lord and the 12th Lord transiting through the 10th house. Definitely 10th house uh, transit of the 12th Lord can bring about some kind of foreign travel due to work. Uh, can also be some kind of uh, educational themes also due to work as well. Uh, this can also be an excellent time period in terms of uh, doing the real work that motivates you because uh, Saturn is transiting through the 10th house as well. This can also be an excellent time period in terms of uh, finally being, being willing to do the work that actually makes you happy as Venus is exalted in the first house for an Pisces ascendant native. Uh, however, this can the work can also potentially impact your relationship as Venus is getting debilitated in some terms. So there is going to be a need to establish balance, uh, you know, making that uh, unexpected uh, time for your spouse whenever that's possible or having to deal with these unexpected situations with spouse whenever that happens, you know, especially in communication things. Now, definitely one important thing to watch out for is any kind of communication breakdowns with regard to your partner during this uh, for a Pisces as in a native. But on the other hand, this is an excellent time period to engage yourself in hobbies that is actually helping you out. This is also an excellent time period to begin to make use of your professional network to make some gains also, uh, especially from a professional angle. Even though you might feel like you are losing that professional network for asking for a favor for a job help or something like that, you know. But on the other hand, uh, what I would also say is that uh, this is also an excellent time period to begin a meditation practice. This is also an excellent time period to again uh, bring about uh, changes that is required for you in terms of too much socializing as well. Uh, Pisces as in a native have a difficult time socializing for sure. But Saturn aspect upon 10,000 Virgo where Venus is getting debilitated, these natives might be required required to put more effort in terms of disciplining their socializing activities as 7,000 is also the house of parties and socializing activities and uh, finally they are forced to deal with that kind of fact. Yeah, Doctor. Yeah, I also feel you know um, doing some um, seva or doing some activities which involve voluntary services um, at an uh, orphanage or at a um, or also at a old age home uh, at a prison. You know, you know, doing some activities which will help even the prison inmates. So that you know, uh, those are areas which I feel for a Pisces ascendant that will be very very beneficial. Um, they should also do some element of charity that I feel that will also help, especially people who, um, you know, uh, like giving a prostrate leg to somebody who doesn't have a leg. Uh, Saturn is a karaka for leg, or even giving you know going to a school and uh, distributing you know shoes for like for the children or orphanages this might be a great activity that they might do for you know to increase his uh, luck for a Pisces ascendant or a Pisces moon. Now uh, a quick remedy here is to simply to try to uh, spend time uh, to, in a temple that is by the side of an ocean or by the side of a, a river even. Uh, one of the things also definitely uh, to engage, to say you have a lot of problems or arguments that is coming to you out of communication issues. Simply, one simple suggestion is to spend time walking with that partner or even walking and talking. You know, that is a Saturnian kind of remedy. Uh, and you'll find that it's not uh, just spending a time on walk, uh, on short walks with your partner. It could be your business partner, it could be a spouse, could be even your uh, colleague at work. And that's actually helping you out because Saturn is also the planner that makes you walk. So if you're spending time walking at work, perhaps with a colleague, that can actually help you out also. Um, yeah. And finally, what I want to say for a Pisces Senator or Pisces Moon is uh, they need to really bury, um, you know, their ego and their arrogance. I think that will, in, in their relationships, their business partnerships uh, with their spouse, uh, that might be something that there might be a, a standoff that might be there just because of some arrogance or certain ego uh, clashes in terms of your attitude towards. So I think you need to really bury that. That will really be helpful for them. And also what I feel very strongly is, as Santip mentioned, going to temples, especially if there is a Hanuman temple, you know, or a Shani temple by a river or by a ocean. I think that will really be helpful for, uh, you know, them.
Yeah, even if you just go to Hanuman temple, even that would also help yeah, out a lot. Exactly. And for some of them, uh, natives, I would say for this uh, Pisces ascendant, they might have some some problems associated with their knees. You know, either pain in the knees or there might be some, uh, you know, uh, you might trip and you might fall and you hurt your knees or something like that. And also related to your profession, I think those areas that you need to really focus on. Yeah, definitely an excellent time period to diet control and to bring about those uh, weight reduction so that your knees will actually be thankful for you yeah. having put in the effort. True. Okay, I think um, it's been a, a long session, but I think we have covered uh, in depth with this session. You know, uh, we have done all the, the ascendants and all the, the Rashis with this transit and I hope this uh, it will be useful for all of you. Um, I also want to add that, you know, this is very generic that we have discussed uh, for all these ascendants. But if you really want to get an in-depth understanding of what it means to you, personalize what these transits would mean to you. So then you can go to Cosmic Insights and you can book for a consultation uh, from one of our, um, you know, astrologers who would be happy to walk you through what this transit would entail. Because, you know, every individual will be going through a different Mahadasha or Antardasha and also there would be you know these transits might be going over certain planets in your uh, in your chart if you have any planets placed in um, either you know you have a planet placed in Sagittarius or Aquarius or Gemini or uh, even in uh, Virgo so then these transits might be very important for you so you know you can go up uh, go to our website www.cosmicinsightshop.com and you can look for, uh, you know, a transit consultation or a transit report uh, on or a Saturn interpretation report can also be, um, you know, got, you, you can uh, avail the services from Cosmic Insights. So thank you for your patience and thanks for watching this video. Yeah, thank you. Namaste. Namaste.